My overall feelings about 2013, uh, I found this year to be exciting, I found it to be challenging, and I also found it to be uh, invigorating. We started 2013 with the RUN campaign. Everybody has a part in this. Everybody has to be in. And that campaign was essential to the direction that First Christian was taking or going to take through the rest of the year. It was during that particular service where we really established our vision, who we are and what we were all about. And we had um, goals that we wanted to achieve as a congregation. And as a result, there was just a renewed spirit. There was um, excitement, if you will, and there was a renewed commitment to not only the ministry of First Christian, but to the ministry God has given to us and to God himself. How many are going to attend Bible study? How many are going to come back to church regularly? How many are going to trust God and give him his tithe? I need you to touch your neighbor and say, are you in? We have had several accomplishments. Number one, we have increased all our Bible studies. And currently, we do have Bible studies on Mondays, Tuesdays. Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And we also had three additional um, Bible studies this year. So, so far we have a total of 17 Bible studies. I think the small group study has been one of the most important moves that we have made here at this church. When we decentralized the um, Bible study and put them out into the community because it gave us an opportunity to reach other people. We even have a study now at a beauty shop. We also have a study at a, a correctional facility down in West Virginia. It's just an example of just how awesome God is and, and just how much on the move he has us at this point. In 2013, I think Denise and I are most proud of how many teachers have decided to teach our youth. Because one time we were wondering, we had to give out shout outs for somebody to come in and teach. So we want to give a shout out right now for all the teachers, not even not only, not only the teachers, but even those that decided to come in and assist us because we need everybody to help us when we're trying to develop our youth and develop ourselves. To give you a few highlights of what we were able to get done in 2013, first starting with Rebirth Ministry under Pastor Ricky Johnson, uh, we had another exciting Easter experience. Uh, the theme of the experience this past year was free. Uh, it was integrated in some ways to the Lenten devotionals that came out uh, during that same season. Uh, but most of you who were here certainly witnessed an exciting and awesome move of God during that Easter experience. Other ministries uh, under Service and Worship Council, I'll talk about just a few minutes. Uh, the ushers uh, simply are doing an awesome job under Sister Shirley Womack. Uh, they're here on post every Sunday. Uh, they've added new members in 2013 and we're continually looking for even more excitement and expansion of that ministry in 2014. Uh, the other ministry, Alta Gill, uh, again, one that sometimes can be behind the scene, but the work that they do certainly is obvious and does not go unnoticed by the pastors uh, and others that they serve. Uh, they're uniformed and they, uh, they do an awesome job supporting the ministry here at First Christian. Our intercessors, uh, generally you do not see them on Sundays, but they're here on Wednesday nights and they're here during our, throughout the week. The intercessors really, really support this ministry because they intercede on behalf of all of the members. Uh, they also take requests uh, for prayer th throughout the week. The other uh, ministry I want to talk about just a little is the choir. Uh, under the leadership of Kevin Smith, uh, Kevin has been here for a number of years. We've actually seen him grow up with the choir. Uh, and uh, under his leadership and that of the, the music uh, ministry uh, with uh, Brother Vernon and Brandon, uh, they're doing an awesome job of carrying us into worship and, and moving us into an atmosphere of worship and really preparing the preliminary work that they do and preparing for the word to come forth thereafter. Uh, we are extremely uh, pleased and fortunate to have uh, such an awesome ministry and we've seen the elevation and the escalation of that ministry over the past several uh, uh, several years and particularly in 2013 we've really seen the move. And lastly I wanted to talk about the, the dance ministry. 
uh, anointed under the leadership of Sister Nita Morfield. We also have uh, Sister Erica who heads our glory ministry and we have Sister Danielle who's going to be leading our, uh, our honor ministry which will be coming back online in 2014. Uh, some excited things that they did in 2013. Glory was have had the opportunity to go to New York and see a, uh, a, a production uh, and anointed. Uh, they were ministering not only here at First Christian but outside of First Christian. They also uh, uh, performed, or I should say, conducted a shut-in, uh, an overnight shut-in. It was an awesome experience. They had a full participation of the entire ministry, uh, and as a result, we've seen them grow closer together. The Family Life Council highlights actually can be categorized by events, but then also spiritual and team growth. Um, some of our highlights from an event perspective were the Salt Ministries trip to Noah's, to see Noah's Ark at Sound and Stage. Um, 90 participants um, traveled with them. In addition, it was a huge retreat season for both the men and the women. This is the first year in a long time that we have done both ministries um, at the, in the same year. First, the men were blood brothers and then the women decided to flourish. Um, record numbers, spiritual growth, and participation. Holistic health is the one part of the Family Life Council that actually knits all of us together. When we have to deal with women's health, men's health, the elderly, the seniors, and even the young adults, um, the Holistic Health Ministry actually covers it for all of us. So even as a family, we cover individual aspects, but the health care is universal. And this year, even though you may not have seen holistic health events, um, behind the scenes, Holistic Health is the one that was driving the women's um, luncheon on cancer and the men's discussions on overall male health. So as a unit, Holistic Health did their part as well. I have to make sure I mention the growth within the Family Council as a unit. Um, our spiritual growth and our team growth. When we originally came together in 2013, they had a task of identifying where they see their ministry, not just in 2013, but in the ministry as a whole, in the future, no limits, no money limitations, no resource limitations, and you would not believe the dreams and the visions that came out of it. It wasn't that each individual ministry's dream was so phenomenal, but how each ministry linked up. The synergies within this council have grown in 2013, so we decided to take on the mantra of the men's retreat. They were known as the Blood Brothers, but we are the Blood Family Council. I would say for 2013, one thing I wanted to discuss is the leadership retreat. Uh, the retreat was very impactful, and I believe the leaders walked away definitely knowing that perception is reality and also knowing that God will use their past pains to bless their future ministries. And I believe the church is in really good hands because they're gonna see leaders uh, that are really capitalizing on a lot of that information that they learned at the retreat. As we continue forward in 2013, we, we capped it off with our ordination consecration service. And that service was definitely uh, the capstone to the year. It just represented all of the hard work that many of our candidates have put forward um, during the last five to six years as they work toward their consecration, ordination, and commission. The church ordination, wow, what a powerful um, event. I believe the ordination was just fantastic. Um, the church is very fortunate to have transparent leaders who have prepared themselves so much uh, in order to truly take care of God's people. I think it was just the perfect opportunity and kind of the beginning and the end of a journey um, and the church just couldn't have a better group of professionals um, that are in key positions to help them grow um, in their relationship with Christ. What a blessed time that we had here. God's presence was definitely in the building. It was a time of celebration. It was a time of fellowship. It was a time of worship and of praise. What more could we ask as we come to the close of 2013? For the year 2013, I'm actually very excited about our ministry, the ministry of First Christian. I feel like a energy, our energy level was risen. I believe that our um, participation rose, our spiritual growth rose. So if this is the foundation 
then we, we're going to be catapulted into whatever our destiny is going to be. 2014, our main achievement will probably be continuing the growth in our studies. We're actually looking for have a 30% increase in all Bible studies and at least 30% more teachers to teach. I think one of the things I got out of 2013 is um, kind of the rough part of church ministry, which is there are some challenges that are ahead, uh, internal challenges, those challenges are going to affect us as we try to reach out to the community. And I believe the church really realized that unless we get our house in order, it's going to be hard to reach out and do those things in the community that we have been called to do. And I think the fact that the leadership has laid those things out in front of us, we can clearly see these are the items that we need to really deal with so we can move forward. And I like the fact that it wasn't sugar-coated, it was just right there for everybody to know and then also for everybody to realize that they all have a part in making that happen. We've also seen uh, the, the elevation of our worship experience and the Word, the awesome Word that comes from our pastor. We've seen how it has moved, not only in the body, uh, but in ministries, our God has been using her and using her mightily to bring forth an awesome word for a time and a season such as this. We're looking forward to even continual uh, overflow, not only of, uh, of God's reproduction, but also uh, overflow of the word of God as we move into uh, 2014. We're looking for how he will move in this uh, the area of relationship that the pastor has already been laying, uh, laying before the pastors. And we're, going to, uh, we're expecting that that's going to be uh, an exciting, exciting series uh, that the entire ministry will be blessed by. So I'm just really grateful for where we are. I'm really thankful for what has been accomplished through God and, and just how faithful He has been to this church. Have we had some trials? Yes, we have. But then again, if we didn't have trials, then how effective would we be? If we didn't have trials, then how will we learn to be faithful and to put our faith? And so we've had our challenges, but at the same time, God has been faithful through everything that we have gone through. And so for here we can say how blessed we are as we look back on 2013, a great year, a wonderful year, and I cannot imagine what God is gonna do in 2014.